Yeah! Oh, yeah. I gotta be quiet. Uh, this is the start to another, another Foul Friday. We haven't done one in a while. I was telling you guys that we got one on the way. Right now it's like 7.20 in the a.m. Gerald's here. We've been working on the lodge. And for about the past two weeks, uh, three weeks, I've been corning the old North 40. Oh yeah, we got deer back there. We got four bucks and a bunch of does. There's actually does out there right now. So to start this foul Friday, Gerald is gonna try to shoot a doe with a bow. A little stock action. You even put on your camo top. Just in case. <laughs> Make sure to wear a nice neon blue hat though. Oh yeah, one out of ten. Do you think it's gonna work? 0. 0.5. <laughs> 0. 0.5. The wind's good. Yeah. The is. wind helps with a little bit of noise. Yeah. But we're already within a hundred yards. Yeah. And she's on the corn pile. On the corn pile. At the lodge, behind the lodge. It doesn't get any better than this. Well, here we go. We're gonna try to make it happen. checking my camera for the last three weeks we've had a good amount of deer out here it's spicing up a little bit yeah that's good yeah first little cold front of the year yeah. already got a buck pushing does yeah it's literally the first morning of the cold front heck yeah well that's easy walking right behind the lodge it doesn't get much better than that definitely could have shot the small buck <laughs> definitely <laughs> yeah you did uh gerald's after an after a doe though Saving his buck tag for a big one this year. You got one on camera right now, don't you? I uh, just checked. Uh, so I just got a new lease. I know it's a little late in the season for it, but we put corn out, set a camera on it. It's been there for, I think, seven or eight days. And we hunted it three days into the corn being there. We had one, like, nice eight point. And then checked again last night, took my dad out there. And uh, there's, like four big ones on it so <laughs> one real big he's i think he's like 13 points and he's got junk going everywhere so oh geez no daytime pictures of him yet though it's all nighttime about one in the morning with this cold front it'll start yeah hopefully the rut's starting to it's still early but you get them little ones pushing them around it can help well it got me excited went and bought 10 <laughs> bags of corn spent hundreds of dollars you got avian steaks yeah we're using full body decoy steaks fishing rod holders and a, dog holder. and a dog holder has steaks but getting set up i i really want to uh i really want to bring bodie i really want to bring harper my son and my daughter out here yeah like girl says it'll be perfect this is perfect yeah you walk them out back nice little 200 yard walk back here sit down already have the chairs candy yeah, candy ready to go. You know, it's it's October. But I got her all bushwhacked now. Check it out. Yeah. Ha! The kids are going to love it. I'm going to love it. Oh, this will actually be a shooting window here. Oh, hey. Hey, bud. What's happening? That's where we'll shoot out of. I think she's done. I think she's done. Ready to go? Get you a couple chairs in there. Yeah. I guess we could step it off, but I'm gonna guess it's like 20 
24 yards. 24 yards. Yeah. It's gonna be a really good downhill shot. Check it out. Awesome little downhill shot. I just uh, took the weed whacker, as you guys seen, and made me a shooting lane. Uh, I think there have got six to eight does and about four decent bucks, two spikes, but there's a lot of activity every single night. Uh, basically, they're going through darn near pretty much a bag of corn a night. Look, that's coyote poop right there. Right there. Yeah, they, they've been fighting in here, dude. Every single... They're actually here in the mornings now, I think. Yeah, we Thank tried goodness. this morning. Yeah. <laughs> they're actually here. It was just in the evenings. The stump. It's 25 yards. Oh, the stump's 25 yeah. yards. Well, that'll be perfect. Firing it up. Firing it up. North wind. Uh, I, if you guys aren't excited with that north wind, boy howdy. We're finally at the lodge. <laughs> Sorry, I got sidetracked because of all the deer stuff going on. I'm excited. I'm, I'm ready to, to shoot a deer on my own property, you know? It's, that's always been a dream of mine. And it's always been a dream of mine to have a little spot where I can take Bodie and, and Harper and just somewhere easy. And right out back, it couldn't be easier. So uh, one thing about the lodge, we're gonna kick it off. I'm gonna show you our updates that we've done, that we finished. And then I'm gonna get into pretty much some of the most asked questions that you guys seem to always ask about the lodge and the guide service. And then I have an update, good and bad news. So number one, check it out. We got the big fan up uh, with that light on above it. It creates a really bad shadow. I don't know if you guys can see that. That's why you kick those off and kick those on. Yeah, buddy. And these on, yeah. Okay, now we're talking. So this is what we have gotten done. Like I said, the big fan, which is awesome. And then this side of the stairs, Gerald came and did this. How awesome does that look with the big rope? We wrapped the poles in rope. Gerald did actually, they look awesome. Even up top, so where you stand up top, it's wrapped. I'll show you guys. Yeah, how cool is that? It's gonna look really good. Obviously down there on the ground, that's the railing uh, that is happening this weekend. We're putting on all the railing. And then I just got done painting all the black rebar. So we're gonna have black rebar going boom, boom, boom. So I just ordered a bigger fridge. This one's a little small as you can see, a bigger industrial looking one. And we got the antelope in here. Remember I was talking about getting an antelope? Yeah, we got one in here. I believe that's Corey's. Big shout out to Corey. Pit group is looking awesome. This is the coffee table. Check it out. This is what Gerald has been working his tail off on all summer long. Uh, this coffee table and the island. That island right there is not staying. No, no, no. He made one that's matching to this, but it's 12 foot long. And the center of it right here, it's got a big epoxy pour. It's got like federal ammo down there, some bands. Uh, it says Sand Hill Flyways. It's really neat. So that'll be the last piece to finalize the lodge, but we're there. Uh, other than the island, the floor. We're having our buddy fireman John come and he is completely sanding the floors, basically buffing them and waxing them. And they're supposed to, he, he was like, I promise you'll be happy with them for this season. We are rocking and rolling. Check this out. This bathroom is actually done now. Check it out. The floor is painted, coated, got the new light up. Check it out. Oh yeah. Toilets there, shower curtain, got the washer in, or sorry, got the dryer in, got to bring in the washer and then it'll be done. I'm going to add uh, some decor and some shelving for, you know, all the towels and sheets and linens and whatnot. Everything. You guys have seen everything else. So we're rocking and rolling. Uh, so on to the lodge. The first, uh, one thing, one thing, uh, very, very, very asked question all the time from you guys is, Bobby, when are the guided hunts gonna fire up? The videos, the guided videos. And our first group comes in the second week of November. So those videos will be following, I mean, right behind them. So uh, I would say by mid-November, early November sometime, 
the client videos will start. The lodge videos, it's gonna be awesome. We're gonna have stories from people all over the nation. We got people from the East Coast, we got people from the West Coast, we got people from Louisiana, I mean Florida, uh, Washington, D.C., New York, North Dakota, Iowa, Nebraska, Oklahoma, Texas, Utah, uh, who am I? Oregon, uh, and I think those are the main states, but so many stories, so many father sons coming that I could not be any more excited. So there's that. Oh, big shout out to Brad Schaefer. How pretty is that? That was uh, the first morning that Fred really got introduced last year to crazy, crazy cold water and, and forcing him in, in it and back. I think we killed like 35 ducks that day and Fred retrieved every one of them. Uh, it might have been the day that I had to save him from the ice. Maybe not. But I remember that was a game changer for Fred. His whole demeanor changed after that hunt. Another question. Bobby, where's your website? I've been trying to find your website. I can't find it. I don't have a website yet. My website is this YouTube channel, our Facebook, and our Instagram. That's about all I need at the beginning, you know, th this first year. Uh, we will have a website up and going for next season, but you guys probably understand how much I put into the channel and Instagram alone. I figured that that would be enough, and surely it, it, it was. So that's number one. Uh, number two, another question, Bobby. Uh, I'm a freelance guide or Bobby. I want to become a guide or Bobby. I'm a filmer or photographer uh, Do you need help? I'd love to come work for you. I'll come help for free Look guys, I appreciate I, I more than appreciate it um, But budget is tight this first season as you can see a lot of it a lot of our budget was in the input of this thing so next year I'll have a lot more room for to add more help, but this year we're doing bare minimum and you know, I, I'll be very blunt with you guys. I will not take home a dime from this place this entire season. I promise you. So, uh, it's just growing a business. You know, sometimes you got to put in uh, a lot of work with no reward. So later on, you get a bigger reward. You know. So that's my plan. Uh, okay. Yeah. Next one. This one's asked a lot, especially down in the comments. Bobby, what are your prices, guys? I don't just put my prices out there. They will be on a website. Uh, next year, but you'll have to go, you know, basically they're going to be somewhere for the people that are interested. I don't want to just go blaring my prices out there. Um, I haven't had a lot of people go, oh, that's too high. I mean, some people, uh, but it's one of them things. Uh, my price is what I have to be at uh, to, to make this place work and to actually pay the help that's going to be here just to make it work. So, um, I think of it this way, and I'm not trying to sound cocky by no means. I did not have to do this lodge. I did not have to start this guide service. I did it <clears throat> for two reasons. For the, the first two reasons is, number one, there's always been a demand for it. You guys have always wanted to come and hunt, uh, and I've known that. Number two, Gerald was in a spot where he's like, Bob, we're either doing this together or I'm going to Texas and I'm probably going to stay there. And that's where I'll guide, you know, for the main fall seasons here to come. That's where I'm going to invest my time in if, if you don't want to do it. And so that was the second big reason. I'm like, okay, Bob, if you're going to do it, you better pull the trigger right now. Gerald's ready. This is your only chance. So, like I said, I'm not taking home a dime. Um, this is something that I'm, I'm proud of. This is something that I want to build. And this won't be our only lodge. You know, years to come, there's going to be more. We already have another one acquired. So... Um, I want to build something very large, not something that's going to be here one year and gone the next. So I don't just go blaring my prices out there. Uh, if you're interested, you'll get a hold of me. But on to the bad news. The bad news is, is that we're full. And I've been full for probably three weeks. And I've been slow at responding to you guys on Instagram. Uh, but I'm sorry, uh, the plethora, if that makes any sense, <laughs> the amount of people, the rush of people from the YouTube channel to Instagram and direct messaging and the comments, it's insane. All the other years I was able to kind of keep up with it this year, it gets crazy. Like I'll have 400 that are unread and I'll try to do 400 in one evening laying in bed. So, um, we are full, we're full, full to the gills. I, right now. I cannot accept another client 
So if you're interested, I'm sorry. Uh, a lot of people have been interested in booking for next season, 21-22 season, but I, my books are not open. I can't, I'm not gonna juggle all that right now. They will open um, in the spring and I'll let you guys know when they're open. I'll let you guys know on the YouTube channel, I'll let you guys know on my Instagram. Plus we'll have a full blown website for next season. So if you're interested in next year, no, I'm not booking yet, but we will. Oh, Cindy. come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Just got home. It's actually Friday morning. The morning that y'all are watching this. Just got back from a public duck hunt. It was really bad. <laughs> like, really, really bad. Yep, that one ain't gonna make a video. That is for sure. But I figured we'd come back home and close out this foul Friday because I went and checked the mailbox yesterday and we got a lot of mail. We got one, two, what do you mean we got here? Two, this one says, put in a vid, please. Uh, this one, three, four. Oh, what's this? I got an oversized item. I didn't see that. Hmm. All right, well, we better get into it because I got a lot of stuff to open. So what this is, guys, is uh, I have a PO box. If you guys want to send anything, uh, just make sure it's appropriate, legal, respectful, nice, courteous. Uh, got a PO box. It's linked down in the description below. If you want to send something for me to open here on camera on a foul Friday, send it to the PO box. I'd gladly appreciate it. All righty, first one, a big O envelope. This is from Hunter. Higgins for who oh, what's this? Sweet little Drew. Hey, look at that sweet little picture he drew. Nice. Says ducks with some cattails, and he sent what looks to be a feather of some sort. What type of feather do we have? Dear Bobby, you taught me a lot about duck hunting, like how to do the feeder call. I get a lot of compliments on the feeder call. You also taught me how to lead ducks. I am 14 and used to pheasant hunt and ducks are completely different <laughs> he says that he is addicted to duck hunting now uh flair and me are his favorite youtubers sincerely hunter higgins well nice to meet you hunter thanks for sending a couple what looks to be pheasant feathers yeah buddy moving on here and a picture thanks for the picture this is from daniel Grochet. Grochet. i probably just absolutely butchered your last name but something what is oh this is awesome look at this <laughs> look at that <laughs> look at that a little tarsal band that says trump how freaking sweet's that that is awesome i'm gonna put that on one of the geese hanging here <laughs> thank you daniel he told me he was gonna send one of these thank you daniel a tarsal band it says Trump. That is awesome. Thank you. Again, stuff like that, that's awesome. That's going in the lodge right here. I'm going to put it on a bird. I promise you that. Next one, Hunter Dregine. I'm going to butcher a lot of names here. I'm sorry, y'all. Dregine, I believe. What do we got here? Looks like he drew us a picture as well. Big ducks picture. Uh-huh. Thank you, brother. Dear Bobby Guy, my brother and I both love the videos. Keep up the good work. I have a hard challenge for you. Could you do a 410 goose hunt? I did a 410 snow goose hunt uh, last conservation season, but I think honkers, man, it'd be hard to kill them bad boys, I'll tell you. What is this? Oh, look at that. That's sweet. Oh, that's cool. Please tell me you have a note in here. Look at this. This is from Walker. Alkin, Alchin. I don't know why you're, all your guys' names are so hard to pronounce. Hey, Bobby. Uh, Michigander. An old Michigander here. Yeah. I make custom paracord bracelets like these and sell them on my website at madebywalker.com. I love what you do, and I love my duck's gear, so I thought I'd make a bracelet. Check this out. Paracord bracelet with a duck's emblem on it. Dude, that is sick. Look at that. Yeah, buddy. Dang, that's sweet, dude. Thank you, man. That's amazing. Walker. Thank you, brother. Thank you. That's a sweet bracelet. I'll keep that forever. 
Then I got this that says I'm supposed to, I got an oversized package that I missed. <laughs> this one from Jay Starkus. Oh, look at this. Lots of pictures. Oh, look at these are the ones I love right here. These are awesome. Two notes. Let's ch check it out. Pictures of the little man. Oh, yeah. Got him some honkers. Oh, yeah. What's this one? Oh, yeah. Put these up in the lodge. That's what I love about getting pictures. And he sent me Auburn Police, Massachusetts. A police patch. That's an actual patch too. Emblem of authority. Let's read it. Let's read it. I first wanted to mention that I've been watching uh, you on YouTube for over three years and my nine-year-old son has been hooked for over a year now. You provide not only great waterfowl hunting content, but great everyday life. The magnet fishing videos with the dad, pitch and trapping with Jordan, dog training videos of Fred, or the building of the lodge are just as great as the hunting videos. Dude, thank you, man. Being from Massachusetts, we unfortunately don't have the flyaways that you do in Kansas, but we try to make it work. You provide a ton of great tips and advice on how to be a better hunter. He says, here's the patch, so the police patch. I am a sergeant with the Auburn Police Department and we re recently designed our police shoulder patch in camo in support of military veterans. That's sweet. We will be selling the patches shortly and all the proceeds will go to local veteran charity. So cool, man. So cool. He goes on to say, uh, make sure you cherish all the moments with Fred. They go by fast. Uh, his chocolate lab passed away 10 years ago. Well, Justin, thank you. And thank you for your service. All the men in blue. Uh, for the men in blue right now, women in blue, it's not good times for them. Uh, my heart goes out to all the police officers out there that are having to deal with all this stuff going on. Um, it is what it is, but I'm telling you, I hate to see it. A lot of ways it's not fair to innocent, good police officers out there. So awesome. I think these are the two best ones. The police patch, thank you Justin, and then parcel band. How cool is that? Like I said, if you guys wanna send anything, to uh, the channel, to me, the people, just like that sweet bracelet, uh-huh. Uh, you can send it down the, to, to the P.O. box. The P.O. box is linked down in the description. Uh, just make sure, like everything today, is appropriate uh, and nice. I appreciate you guys. You guys are awesome. As for the lodge, we're getting done, finishing up some last minute things, but clients will be here the beginning of November. So stay tuned for those videos. It's gonna be a lot of fun. But I hope I answered a lot of you guys' questions on this video. I wanted to just give you an update and just a good old laid back foul Friday. But thank you all for being here. Subscribe if you haven't. Hunting videos coming all season. And be expecting some deer hunting. We got the blind set up out back. We've had a ton of deer like you've seen. We could have shot one the other day. Uh, stalking yesterday with Gerald. But he wants a doe. Those videos will be coming too. Hopefully we get a buck down in the back. But until next time. Peace.